game. Well, that Lef has definitely been one of the uh, best players in the world, I feel, in 2015, if not the best player in the world. Uh, while JW was certainly fantastic previously, you just look to all those, I don't know if my say, look towards his obviously Karavica performances, and really every land performance he's had since then, he has been incredible. Definitely has it in him. Here we go, though. Pistol round on the way. And we are going to see Olaf Meister at the window. And looking at TSM side as they are starting out on the T side. A lot more cautious. Last time when they were playing against Penta, they all rushed mid. So very different. A lot of decoys over towards A. And still not actually gaining any ground. They're, they're just taking their time, and I don't blame them. They clearly have a plan in mind, TSM. And this matchup is one I've been looking forward to. It's a shame we don't quite get the full Fnatic experience. But we get Devil Walk, and you know. Is it Fnatic Light? <laughs> yeah. No, it's nice saying Fnatic Zero, I guess. And looking at the smokes they put in, Kerrigan's being dedicated towards A. Yet yeah, the bomb is completely over by B. So they're trying to keep players, and they have done towards this A site. Now, Crims takes down Kerrigan, but can Pronax buy time enough here? Oh, that's perfect. Picking up Device with a bomb. That's going to give a couple more seconds for the others from Fnatic to come over and pick up the pieces. Zipnik's perfect. Got around the back of Flusher as well, but Zipnik's now all alone, and he's got to get in and try and retake that one. The flash from Devil Walk will be on point. Catches Zipnik's off, but Zipnik's did take Crims down. And now Devil Walk, coach, substitute, stand in for JW in a one-on-one -on -one up against Zipnik's. Has to use his experience and just nail Zipnik's to the wall. Really nicely done by Devil Walk in the end then. I feel he needs an upgrade that to that knife because that's, that's, that's a, not a pretty looking knife, that Urban Master. It's a little rusty. <laughs> Doesn't look good, but regardless of the knife, that was a great play from Devil Walk. He's going to get himself the scout. Everyone else going in for the Famuses. And on the TSM side, we only see one Deagle. We saw they're actually doing really well with the Deagles before. And Devil will be the one with that scout. So, I'm not sure what to make of it just yet. I think TSM looking like they want to do something almost similar. And I wonder if they can pull that many players from Fnatic once again across. But this time, a little different. Flusher starting to look. Olaf a bit more confident. And why not? They've got the guns. And they can certainly use them. Yeah, nailing them. Easy stuff, cleaning up with the FAMAS device, trying to get the Deagle, does manage to land it on Devil Walk. Going to be the single kill for the round for TSM though, Fnatic will pick an easy round up there. Is anyone going to recover the scout? I think they're just going to leave it be. Get, stick with the FAMASes. Yeah. And on the TSM side, not a great deal of money to work with Deagles galore will probably come out. Actually, the Deagle seems to be working its way back into the scene. You know, the Crouch Deagles are starting to work, which I always like seeing. I always just love the Deagle in you know, the likes of Source and even 1.6. You know, Source was a little bit like the Railgun, but I always loved it in play. I thought it was quite fun to work around with. But it's starting to get a little bit of presence here. Three man well, stack. Nicely done by Devil Walk and Flusher, then pushing up in mid, getting control of the map somewhere. They have to kind of play retake towards A, but with Crims actually holding this down for now, it's done okay. But Cajun B takes him down, bomb is planted, and there's still two up for TSM. Yeah, three man piling through, and it's worked out for them so far. They've managed to try and get around the bomb plant ticking. Zipnik, though, will get picked off. It's just debris at the back. He's recovered one of those M4s. If he can keep them at bay, but no, Pronax just pushes straight on by. Clean defuse, they'll collect the M4 as well. And that'll be the third round on the board. TSM, though, will go for gun round. And now we'll see what they've got. Yeah, this is a big round coming in now. TSM going to get that buy going now. They've got a good bit of money in stock. A couple of plants here and there, certainly helping towards that. And now we can see Olaf with the AWP coming in. No head armor either, not much else to work with. But he is going um, in towards this round with it. So the rest of the boys not sticking with M4s, going back to the wards of Famas, is keeping those into play, and mostly splitting them up between A and B. So Flusher pushing his way up towards short again. Last Ooh. time this happened, Devil Walk actually joined him in mid, but now they're being overwhelmed. Carrigan breaks in, takes down Olaf. Connect is now a little open. Crims has to turn around, but great flashes and utility work coming out from Devil Walk, holding them back on that A ramp. If they wanted to execute at the same time, then that was certainly thrown off. So Debris with the AWP, Starting to put the pressure down. Did just get 31 kills, but that was against Penta on Mirage in the previous matchup. This time, testing his AWP skills, checking window while the rest of the team look to set up and try and push in through. Hit Zipnix in Palace. Device and Cajun B, they're making their way up ramp. They're moving in towards A side. Devil Walk not quite getting caught out with the Molly, but will get taken down by Device. And now they're in on site. Crims, the only man on A now. 
just hidden by stairs. I think they know they're going to struggle to take this round back. They feel Dupree still there, and he is. His presence becomes known, taking down Flush off. Pronax short. inside of him. Pronax didn't get a clean shot off there. That's kind of dangerous, but he will at least get the kill in the end. But Crims now and Pronax, I'd be surprised if they go for this. Yeah, device is ready as well. Pronax was going for the rotate. Device was already looking towards ramp. They are going to back away. I mean, it's the AWP and the M4 to keep a hold of, so pretty safe stuff for them. So TSM get their first round on the board. Will they get away with the double AWP? Oh, Crims is going to peek his device, going to go looking for it. He's going to stop at the halfway line. Ooh, he fancies it. Little shoulder. Gets a little glimpse. Doesn't go for it, though. But at least they know as well now that there's at least one AWP now in the hands of Fnatic. And I'm not sure if they'll assume two, but they probably could. So now the double AWP in play. Olaf is very poor, but he can be dropped off to that. Pronax can buy back up. And let's see who picks up the second AWP here. Who's gonna, this going to land on? Devwalk looks like he's going for the M4. And it's probably going to be Olaf, I can imagine. And maybe we are going to see Flusher picking up. I'm not sure how I feel with this adaption, this change. Let's see if I, you know, Flusher can bring this one to the forefront. Olaf's already doing his uh, bit of work early on with the double finding Dupree and Device in mid. And that's going to shut down TSM to such a huger level. Yeah, so Olaf already doing work. And TSM, this Cajun B is going to try and go underpass. Carrigan's pushing himself straight up, but Pronax is already there and short. That's going to be the AWP down. Damage done. Not a great deal Cajun B can do from this one. Going to expect a little bit of wonder, a little bit of style. We did see MBK getting that ace magnificently yesterday, but there's nowhere near in the same situation. Zipnix and Cajun B will be closed out on a perfect round there for Fnatic in the end. Olaf Meister doing some grand opening frags. Yeah, wonderful work from Olaf. <clears throat> You know, having such a such a huge caliber player in your in your side like that, who can slip into the roles as you know a primary orper, is is just wonderful to see. But Crims, um, actually no, it's not Crims. It's it's Flusher. He had to make an impression into this game just yet. Zero to two. He's mostly been playing by short and on B, so not really had much of a chance to. They're walking to assist with a nice little flash, but actually TSM all lining up towards A. Maybe feeling pressuring Devil Walk's the best idea, and why not? He's a little rusty. But uh, he can still land these shots. He's got Crims by his side. Devil Walk finds Kerrigan. And one by oh. one, they run and they fall. Crims with beautiful control then taking down three just at the end. And even the one prior to make it four. So Fnatic looking strong and TSM not making an impact yet on their T side. That's just it. It's like, yeah, okay, Devil Walk's on A side. Let's try and put some pressure on him. We don't want to test Flush's AWP abilities too much. I mean, he's just sitting on Van. It's a pretty easy position for him. But... When you got the gruesome twosome of Olaf Meister and Crims to back you up on that A site just to come around, it is seemingly easy. TSM didn't go for B site too often against Penta, whether that was just down to the fact that they were taking A so easily, or whether it's just preference. Set Smoke's coming out though, and TSM gonna make a steady play moving in. Great little counter from Devil Walk though. There's the pop flash over That'll the top. Do nicely. That will do wonders for him. Guns down, gets the one, but it was enough. It was the bomb carrier down, but now the rest of the team completely smoked off. Going to keep them at bay. Olaf Meister tries to hop up, will get caught out by Zipnix the second he shows himself over the top of that smoke. TSM yet to get the bomb plant down, though. Now it's going in. And to be fair, Devil War could have done more. Nice nade from Flusher comes out, but he could have done more if someone was pushing, watching the push from Palace. Crims was looking for it above the smoke, but just couldn't quite see as one of the T-side players poured out. So that could have even gone better for him. However, the retake time begins. Crims wants to make his mark on the map now. Taking down Device. Three players against the two. Zimnix in a good spot, but not good enough. And now Cajun B smoked out, blocked out, and pinned to the wall. Flusher comes up with the AWP. Diffuse came in. Pronax had faith in his team. And they will get every single gun they want back into play. 6-1. We were wondering how this substitute fanatic was going to work out. So far, it has been incredible. The full fanatic lineup has yet to take a victory over TSM on Mirage. This is starting off very well. Maybe Devil Walk's coming in as a bit of a lucky omen. Who knows? Olaf Meister once again heads himself in towards window. Dupree is going to be challenging him, but only with a AK this time around. And it doesn't look like he wants to go for it. Device alongside him. Are they going to try and double peek him? That nade will actually be on point and we'll be straight at Device's feet. They're really trying to pressure down mid here. It's, it's four players dedicated to try and pinch in. Olaf and negate him, and maybe they can work through connector. It's actually very similar to what they were doing against Penta to a degree. 
substantially more refined, but still quite close. Boost towards window. Olaf switched to CZ, and Carrigan just in front of him has snuck through. He's gone around to CT. He's around the back of them now. He's got completely free reign, and now TSM need to stay alive to let him have some form of impact. Flush is the one that's pushed up to short. Carrigan oh, continuing through Kitchen. They are going to rotate straight through bid. Flush is going to get caught by surprise here. He's not going to expect Carrigan at the back of bench there. Unless he happens to just look around the side. Yeah, Carrigan going to completely catch him unawares. He's going to wait, though. And that's an AWP. Immediately collected. Carrigan, is he going to switch to it? He's going to stick with the Galil. It. Can't find it. He's going to stay with the chatterbox. Olaf Meister on the rotate. Krim's going round, but... That well, is now, tier seven are in a great position here. There's, yeah. I don't think Fnatic can go for this. Device already set up for the push towards Shaw. We've got Cajun B at the top of mid, and they're just so ready for it. As soon as they got Carrigan behind them, they bought the time, They've, they fell back passively towards the top of mid, pushed towards B, waited for them to get the bomb down, and as soon as that bomb went in, Device was already ready, Cajun B was already ready, and they were prepared off the back of that one single opening move. Yeah. So TSM, not only do they get the bomb down, all five members stay alive on what was a little bit of a mishmash. A couple of Galils were in there, but Device keeps hold of that AWP, does just about survive, along with Cajun B, of course, on their AK. But so now they've got themselves a double AWP. They rescued, I think it was Olaf Meisters, they managed to pull out the window there. And now let's see what TSM can do with it. Fnatic, of course, can afford to just buy straight back up on this one. Olaf Meister will be heading back to that window with the AWP. But this time, Carrigan and Device are the ones that will be challenging. It looks like it's going to be all going towards A ramp. I want to see if Device goes for a cheeky first pick. He is. He's waiting for Crims to cross here. And just a second late as the smoke plumed. And Devil War pushing up very aggressively. This is somewhat of a, a newer trend. Pushing up towards that smoke before they'd still sit back passively. I'm pretty sure Device might have known that was an underarm throw. I'm not too certain. I think that's why he switched up to the secondary. Just lurking around, seeing if he can spot anything. But regards to that, Carrigan has got a good opening shot towards jungle. Crims isn't far away from there. He's got to be cautious. And Carrigan taking a lot of damage off the nade. So it looks like A almost needs to be played as a retake at this point. They've lost so much control here. And Crims is just dancing on the line. But what a shot comes out finding Device. And Carrigan holding his nerve here. But Crims is such a crazy oh. good player. Look at that play. Carrigan goes down. He even goes back for a little more. Why not? He's landing these shots. Just a little taps down, and he gets another. Dupree falls. Can't get the spray in the end towards Cajun B. But by now, Cajun is locked down by Olaf. And even though he picked up Devil Walk, you've got to say it. Crims is such a beautiful player in those situations. Unreal. This is the problem with Fnatic. You, you know, you take JW out of the equation. Someone always steps up. Crims on 16 kills. Just single tap in here. Just pops around. Why not? Straight, you know what, I'll have a look back up the stairs and have myself a second AWP down. It's so easy for him. Just in amazing stuff, amazing stuff. So, double AWP didn't work out too well for TSM. They're back to the AKs. Olaf Meister back in the window with the AWP. He's going to get smoked off. And Devil Walk this time has got even closer. He's got himself inside ramp. Just around the corner, actually, to light. It's Zipnix and Device that are there as well, so the ramp's coming in, uh, bomb's coming his way. Yeah, they, this is TSM speeding up their kind of um, push towards the A bomb side. And Devil Walk needs to hold on. Great work from Devil Walk, stopping the two, pushing up from ramp. And Crimson Olaf can lock down Connector. The one man threat is now Carrigan on short, but the play coming out from Fnatic is on point. They just know what TSM's doing. Now, Carrigan can't dig deep enough and will be found in the end by Olaf. But this is similar to what TSM were trying out against Penta. As I said before, nowhere near as refined as this is, as slow as cautious. But TSM just try and make that collapse on towards A. However, the difference being Fnatic locking it the hell down. Pushing up by A ramp then was brilliant. Those two were just gone. And then you saw Olaf and Krim's going to work. But, you know, double up back in the hands of Fnatic now. They can afford it. Why not? I reckon Flush has been getting a little bored over on B-site. Finally, it looks like he might be tested. It looks like they are coming his way. He's ready, though, with the AWP. Device is going to be the one that's going to come around the corner. Flusher doesn't flinch. Immediately pulls the trigger, takes him down. Olaf Meister peeking down. Oh, he saw the heads, didn't he? Just drops the nade on the head. Let's go to work with that pistol. And just flicks himself a double. Can he make it a triple? Carrigan goes down. There's the AWP. It's all too easy for Fnatic right now. TSM are not testing them. Maybe this little weight, this little lull, 
We thought they were getting a little deathmatch warm-up with Penta, but it seems that Fnatic had a little training regime of their own, and it involved bringing in Devil Walk. Maybe that's the difference when the coach is playing, you know? It's kind of like coach mentality. Everybody Just focus. Put me in, you know? Put me <laughs> in, and I'll get the job done. But from the sidelines, Devil Walk's clearly been paying attention. He knows how these guys like to play, and he's fitting in well. Going to actually go aggressive mid with the support of Olaf behind him. They're going to be scared to peek Olaf, so it will give Devil Walk a couple of seconds to get a shot off. Whether or not they expect Crims there as well is a very different matter. And a one-for-one -one exchange. Not really oh, leaving Fnatic in the best spot. And yeah, bad timing then. Means Dupree catches out Devil. Yeah, spun around just at the second and suddenly TSM are on a little mission here. Flushes all the way around to CT spawn on A site. So he'd switch position. And now they're going B. Yeah, the bomb's making its way <laughs> over there. Carrigan's going around. And he's actually caught in no man's land on A site. Zipnix will be the man that picks the kill up as they rush to get that Dragon Law from the floor. But look at the kills. Grimm's Olaf Meister, Devil Walk. Everybody doing well. TSM getting their third round on the board. They have to start getting a little something going here on the T side because the best they can hope for is a 9 6. Yeah, and I don't think Fnatic's going to let them get that. Like, for me, TSM is uh, classically a better CT side. They've, they've shown real um, power on their T-side recently. Maybe not so much on this map, but previous to now they certainly have. But I, I want to see what they can do on their CT-side as Pronax and Flusher start walking up towards B, and that's a terrible mistake. Device is there, and I think he expects another as well. And he was right to. Didn't happen, though. Fnatic, though, on a heavy rotate here. Crims is actually going to stop off and go window. Oh. Olofmeister's coming back around, so they maybe suspected this was a little bit of a fake, but it's not. We can see it on the minimap. The bomb already at short. Device is trying to keep them busy. TSM have already pushed in. Debris heavy here in connector. Zipnix has backed away. Cajun B's rotating Where's all the way around to right A site. Flushes? Oh, he's, he's still just pushed up in the apps. Yeah, it's just got ooh, ooh, device kind of sensed he was there, but the bomb's coming towards A site. Cajun B on the rotate. The big point here is that Olaf is still alive. Carrigan, I don't know if he's in ladder room yet. I think he is. Yeah, he is. Carrigan just got himself into ladder room from short, and that's going to remove Olaf from that jungle spot. That's what wasn't happening that TSM didn't need to go to. Oh. But now Flusher pushing around behind him just underneath, just looking for this Devil Walk hops up, not going to get that shot off. And now Flusher has to get past so much to even get a shot towards the site. Carrigan is a step away here. He'll spot him out first. Nice work. Crim's already got the first towards Dupree. So it's a 3v2, but they're quite well set up for this. Yeah, that Molly's going to go into the corner. Zipnix was there. It's not quite on him, though. Device holding the angle, expecting someone to come up high. Will get flashed out. They got one in Tetris as well. Device completely flashed out. Good move. Push there from Flusher, but will get taken down by Cajun B. Crim's on site, but... Well, he's got three mem just to find. Gets one, doesn't get the second. Cajun B comes out on top. Fourth round for TSM. They do make the rotate work this time. I wondered if we were going to see a repeat performance of what they did against Penta. They had four men at B. They could have pushed in easily, but instead chose to go all the way around the back. This time, they make it work. They make use of those smokes. Ooh, and a scout bird for Flusher. Maybe just going to take that over to B and just hop away at the bottom by the van. Um, and I, I think they just... It, it, it looks like they got a little bit kind of flustered when they lost control of mid then. Once though, you know, Carrigan got himself up towards short. Once all those kind of plays started coming into place, TSM just seemed to take control of the later game. But I have to see if they can manage that again. Olaf this time not sticking by window too long. He's going to adjust around towards jungle. Oh, and Dupree actually spotted them out here. That's De quite important. Devil Walk just went all the way down a ramp and look, went all the way around. He knows the information. He got them all the information. They know they're all in mid. There's nobody pushing around ramp. Zipnik's the only man, but Dupree's going straight up connector. Devil Walk, because he's seen this, he's kind of faked himself. Look at him. They're on the complete rotate towards B site, but TSM are all going to A. All right, now we are watching Pronax, but he's just still dodging around. Devil Walk comes back. A's a lot easier to retake in my eyes, but at the moment, Zipnik's landing. That one's going to make it even harder work. Carrigan getting set up in towards jungle straight up. We've got Cajun B and Zipnix on the side. Zipnix in that regular corner as Olaf is going to start making his way around. He knows he plays there. You can see just under the box with an AWP. You can see the feet. You can land the shots, but there will be someone closer. And sadly for Olaf, Cajun B was tucked into the corner far sooner. But TSM, the difference between the start and now is them taking complete control of mid and working off the back of it. They don't even necessarily get, need to get a pick, but they're just locking people out so quickly and making it such hard work to gather any information on where they want to go.
These last three rounds have been vital for TSM. Starting to recover what could have been a, a pretty tragic T-side for them, but 9-6 is almost a certainty now, unless Fnatic can pull off something special here. Nothing certain with Fnatic. You never know, you never know. Flusher actually going deep. Nobody's actually watching on Van at the moment. So they've all pushed heavily up. Look at them all. Going straight up mid. They go pushing forward them. with the pistols. Flusher will hear the footsteps, but he's going to be so late to the rotate. He's only got the Deagle in hand. Tries to land a couple of shots through the window, but now they know TSM got complete control of B site. Yeah, but I like the still P. They're boosting him up on towards the box, but Device already watching in towards the kitchen. Oh, and Pronax had to land that to stand even a chance getting back to this one as Devil Walk sadly and Flusher don't have much to work with. Devil Walk does come in towards the site. It's almost stopped the plant, but Zipnix will close out the round. So, all in all, <clears throat> it was more that TSM just seemed to fix those mid plays. They started to really gain control, not die to Olaf early on, and actually take their half of mid into their, yeah. their hands. So, four rounds on the bounce at the end there for. TSM getting themselves 9-6 to Fnatic in the first half. Pistol round will be on the way in just a second. But Fnatic light? I don't know if we can call it Fnatic light with Devil Walk Devil in there. Walks. Devil's got his own little style, you know. I, I can't, he's, a I major, can't he's a major winner. You can't take that away from him. He's, he's, he's won one major, uh, which is just as much as quite a few of the other members in there. He won a DreamHack. Yeah. Won the first major. He also dropped his pants at a dream hack as well. I well, that's, that really that was that was when he won it. That was when he won it. He was he was it was a bet. Right. And his uh, his what was his what was his original name? Uh, <laughs> swag bitches and Yolo. No, swag Yolo and bitches. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's what he likes to remind us every single time. He throws it out there. That's where it all began for Fnatic. It's uh, interesting roots, but nonetheless, here we go. Pistols. Julius picked up for Device Tech Nine for Olaf Meister. And can the tank make it count? The man that made, effectively, the Tech 9 get nerfed. A little. I don't know. You tell him that. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen with it. Yeah, as you said. Um, TSM, just going to have to sit this one back, see what Fnatic do, and just respond accordingly. It's pretty much how these rounds go. TSM not overly committing towards this B play yet. TSM still have players further back in this, but Carrigan's doing wonderfully. Picking up two, then leaving Devil Walk with six HP and very few options. He's still got a smoke, and a bomb plant doesn't happen either. That's a lot of money missed out on, sadly. Yeah, he managed to clutch it last time around in a one-on-one -on -one in the pistol, but this time wasn't to be. And now TSM can build themselves up a little momentum here, maybe pull it back to 9-9. We'll see how the pistol works for Fnatic. What are they going to go with? It's going to be head armor. It's going to be a scout in there as well. So head armor all around, apart from Devil Walk. <laughs> Everybody else with the Tech Nines and Deagles. He's on scouting. Let's see. Let's see what Devil Walk's got. I want to see what he can bring now. He's got to bring the scout power. The others are there to tag him up so he can drop him down. And I want to see him do that. We've got Olaf and Crims coming in towards over underpass. Not really seeing much. They might even boost someone up if they fancy it, or just go straight in for the challenge. And in response to that, TSM are like, all right, screw that. I'm going to sit as far back as possible. I don't really want to challenge you guys up close and personal. And Cage and B starting to get a little, little bit edgy on short there. You can see him actually getting tagged up as well. So Crims working his way through. Smoke comes out. And they get a little bit more freedom in mid to work. Flusher taking a little peek over at Palace. But it's buying time. Crims trying to creep up behind them. And he will come out on top. Dupree goes down. Now Device, after pushing on Flusher, Gets himself back on towards A site. Carrigan gets but Devil Walk Pronax. down. Pronax. Yeah, he's with the bomb and he's actually waiting for Zipnix on short. If he kills Zipnix, he would probably get to be faster than the others. Oh, I don't think he knew how close Zipnix was just to that corner. And sadly, kind of the moments moments pass. Zipnix. Oh, does go down. Cajun is gonna try and make a quick play for it, but Pronax should at least get the bomb down now. And get the plan. He's picked up the MP9. Will get himself one. That's a good chunk of change there. There's the flash. Can he get the second? Oh, oh Carrigan crouched gosh. just below the vital first shot. And TSM will get the defuse. But Pronax got himself a chunk of change. Get himself the double kill and the defuse in there. So rifles for Fnatic. First time around on the T side. Let's see what they can do with it. TSM, of course. One round away from drawing it equal. And more importantly, starting to build up a bit of momentum on the CT side. Carrigan's going to be in the band with the AWP. And we're going to see a full buy. It's not going to be a full buy for Fnatic. I mean, they did invest quite heavily in the last round with the, with the uh, head armors. 
the I'm Tech Nines. I'm just more surprised it's Kerrigan taking that op, just, just signing he wants to go with it. Fair enough, don't see why not, but uh, yeah, Fnatic looking like they want to go towards A. Pretty darn quick as well, actually. They're speeding themselves up here. Kerrigan's back around. They're already on Tetris. Kerrigan gets a little peek up. Gets on towards the side of it. Kerrigan lands a second, but there come the kills. And Fnatic actually getting this far without the smokes, without much to it. Now Dupree's going to have to just adjust accordingly. Yeah, he's got to wait for Zipnik. Zipnik's going to come around. He's going to switch off Dupree. Wow, are you really going to go all the way around? No, he's just checking out, clearing out things. No, he is. He's going all the way around. It's a real long rotate from Dupree. Going to go all the way through the T-spawn. Zipnik's... I think he's just going to simply maybe go for some exits. I think got the time. It's been a long run. That bomb has been ticking the whole time. Yeah, you can hear. He's, if he's going to go for it, he's going to have to go straight in. Defuse on Zipnik. So if Zipnik goes down, this is a problem. But Dupree does come around. The surprise factor's there. Crims is there. Dupree, I don't he think he's quite got time. He's got to get the kit. No, not quite. It was a very long rotate for Dupree. They get the kills, but... Not going to be the defuse, and Fnatic will pick up the round. To be fair to him, though, I don't think they would have been able to even get to that situation without being him, you know, going on that rotate. Oh, and he doesn't quite make it to the orb either. That was actually really important for him to do that. Yeah, big, big round for them. TSM also, though, now completely screwed. They've got the scout thrown out there. There's going to be the single M4, but that is about all they can afford. Devil with the Tech 9, everybody else AKs and head arm up. <coughs> Let's see if he can do anything. I don't think he'll, he'll make much of that one just there to pick up the pieces if anything goes wrong. Or just take away any guns from the position. Maybe just ideally find Dupree. Um, take that gun out of his hands. You can see Devil Walk is lurking towards Ace. So certainly in the right direction. As Olaf, Flusher, Crims, and Pronax start building up towards mid. And Fnatic looking a little bit better here. Carrigan is close by though. Carrigan could be the one to stop the push, but no. Flusher makes his way through, and now he's down to just Dupree on this A site if they make the play for it. But that's what Devil Walk wanted to get the gun out of the game. He can pick that one up in a second if he feels safe enough to do so. He doesn't, he backs away. But Device, Flusher, what are you doing? Check your corners. He gets caught out. Crims will thankfully pick up the pieces. But now Cajun B and Zipnix, the last two standing. Zipnix is actually going the right way. He's chasing. He might cut an angle on them down the T spawn here. He's going to see Olaf Meister doesn't quite get him down range instead. Yes, he does. Long range with the pistol. Didn't get the Pronax, though. And that was the vital one because he was the one carrying the bomb. It's just going to be an AK rescued for Zipnix, and he's going to run and hide. Yeah. Can't blame him on that one. That makes sense. He, even though he probably could do something, Devil's on 9, Crims is pretty low. Pronax, though, still is sitting on 61 HP, and he's only down to 15. So going to uh, retrieve... Beautiful fire serpent, get himself away. But yeah, that was just nicely done on every front from Fnatic. Um, <clears throat> taking control in mid, pushing themselves up and close. TSM didn't really have the utility or weapons to make much of a difference then in mid, in my opinion at least. So they just kind of got overwhelmed. So at least Simnix does get out with something. He's got the head armor. He has all of the smokes and flashes he still wanted, and an AK to boot. So really, he kind of benefited from this round more than anything, aside from the round loss. So. 11 to 8, match is paused, and uh, maybe we just want to fix a couple of issues. So, see who's paused it. I'm guessing it's TSM because they realize pressure very much on them here. Maybe a little bit of blushes as well when they know that JW is being substituted by Devil Walk, who himself is actually doing pretty well. He's got 15 <laughs> kills on the board. He's the second highest uh, fragger for Fnatic. 25 for Crims, picked up a chunk of them in the opening few rounds. All of Meister 13. And like you said, Flusher. Well, Flusher didn't really get, he didn't really have anything to shoot at for the, <laughs> the first eight rounds. Nobody went B site. Nobody went his direction. Fnatic, though, starting things off well. Crims, top of the board for Fnatic and gets himself the opening kill. Certainly does. Zimnix, big impact player, though. You're not going to get past him too easily. Now, Carrigan might be into a little bit of trouble here. Three players pushing up. He's going to be swept aside, and B's looking quite vulnerable. Zimnix is there early, but those players might be able to cross this. Oh, he just doesn't get that first shot off. Yeah, so this is the AK that he rescued from the last round, and like you said, he needed to get that first shot. Does manage to get Olaf Meister down, but realize his flush is on sight. Crims, though, he's, got, he's going to hear Dupree coming, I think. Crims, yeah, here's Dupree coming around the side there. So not able to sneak into the site. Cajun B is going to back away with that M4. He's going to run for his life. And it's going to be the 12th round for Fnatic. This is definitely starting to look like a good T-side performance from them now. That will be the third round in a row. 
Starting to build up that money, keep hold of the weapons as well, more importantly. TSM, though, they should be able to buy in the next round. They've kind of gone a half mishmash in the last two. Of course, did just go for that pause. And now they're going to have to make it work for them because they're already four, rows, four rounds down. So, big rifle round for TSM here. Can they stop the rock? It's kind of funny looking back at, you know, let's say when TSM was still a mixture of the you know, sort of the um, Dignitas team, <clears throat> and known as Team Dignitas, you know, the likes of Dupree and Zipnix in it. Actually, Devwalk never played this good even against them back when it was in the main lineup when they had like Schneider in there and people like that. So, kind of see, maybe Devwalk's actually improved over all these years. <laughs> um, or maybe just got better teammates. I don't know. But still, 12 to 8, Dupree up close and personal with Olaf. And normally this, I'd say, would work out in Dupree's favor. However, Olaf can hit these shots, and it kind of gets a little bit scary when he does that, but Devil Walk, Crims, Pronax, still taking the time, just kind of finding their footing in this map. Olaf is smoked out, gonna have to adjust. And Fnatic looking like they want to close in towards A, just from where Crims is, but they still need that pick to work off. Yeah, the bomb's still very much all the way around towards the T-spawn. Olaf, Meister and Flush are on the full rotate. They're gonna head around there, see what else they can get from this one. Devil Walk's been probing Zipnix over on B-site, Pronax. Also, trying to get something around the window. Maybe push up on short. Cajun B's holding the angle at short, so if Pronax were to come around this corner, ooh, just stepped around the corner, but he had grenade in hand. We'll try and maybe flash himself out there, but look at the three stack in apartments. Zipnix is about to get very busy, but he's ready and waiting. That's a good flash. He's going to start things off. He's going to catch them all out, but he doesn't manage to get the shots. They stop things. They slow it down. Olaf Meister actually boosting himself up there. They're yet to get a kill, and he's just caught out in the corner, and this is Fnatic just brute forcing their way into the site. It was really smartly done as well, using the window, not even bothering to challenge down Zipnix, just going a different way, overcoming the odds, and now Dupree is nowhere to be found. Crims knows he didn't push through connector. He was their kind of launch pad towards that B site, holding the straight up rotate. And now you can see Crims just straight up hunting, like, okay, screw you, Dupree. You're not going to get away with that uh, gun if I can help it. Dupree might be challenged out very soon by Crims, but those AK bullets are going to give away a little bit of the game. Is he going to challenge it? He fancies it. Oh, and Dupree, don't turn around. He knows he's coming. 74 health, that's all he's got. Doesn't matter, Crims. Top of the board and proving why. Winning out that duel simply 13-8. Fnatic, just three rounds from victory and their perfect score here in the ESL SEA Pro League could be continuing. 28 francs for Crims dominating the board right now. Yeah, and taking away from the fact that Devil Walk is in this lineup, it's not the same Fnatic, Crims has been having a great game individually. And as we can see for TSM, they still have the um, AWP with Cajun, but with not much else, which is kind of unique. But hey, he's doing nicely, takes down Flusher. Spots out a second on towards ramp. Maybe just to throw a little bit of a corkscrew into the mix. But yeah, Crims' performance has been second to none today. And Zipnix catching a little bit of a glimpse towards Connector. Not going to get the shot towards Devil Walk, but knows his presence is there. Cajun B has to be pivotal. Tries to get up and above the smoke, but they're so ready for him. The second he shows his head, Crims takes it off. Device gets himself one on Pronax. But that is about all. And Fnatic once again clean up. That's the 30th for Crims there as well. Dominant performance from him. 14-8. Fnatic have been so strong so far on the T side as well as the CT side. TSM though, last chance saloon for them. Carrigan gets the AWP. Everybody else M4 is just the FAMAS for occasion. B after going in the AWP in the last round. If they lose this one, it's game over. Exactly that. Really need to get this. And oh, that Molly's great coming out from Fnatic as well. Going to make it harder. But Carrigan actually still has the peak on towards this, but just about makes it away unscathed. And we're seeing slowly but surely Fnatic once again locking down mid, Olaf looking towards B. And they just have a pan. They've got that rhythm to it now that they know what they're doing. Olaf actually getting caught out by Zipnix. And I don't know where Zipnik was. He just kind of adjusted through. Was he really jumping when he did that? I kind of almost hope not, but. You never know, it's Zipnix, and now Fnatic doing what they did before. Adjusting through the window, but Zipnix is aware this time. He's not having that trick pull on him twice. And Devil goes down, the bomb is loose on the site. Oh, and Zipnix once again gets another. Well, they had to come up big, and they did. Fnatic just running into a hail of bullets there over on B site. 14-9, TSM not done and dusted yet, but Fnatic, of course, built up such a bank that they can just buy straight back into this one. And they will be... Challenging Olaf Meister this time with the AWP. 
Everybody else on the AKs. Fnatic pushing in. Carrigan, where's he going to go with that orb? This time around, he's going straight over to B-Site. Is it going to be short? No, he actually he's expecting them to go towards B, I think. And you can see Olaf and Pronex are already in mid. Let's see where he might take that one. Simnex pushing up aggressively in those B-Halls, though. is going to give him a lot of information. Devilwalk's going to have to be cautious here. I don't know if he heard a step. He may have done. But he's being very, very cautious, and he needs to be careful. If he gets caught out, that's a lot of information and a lot of control given to TSM saying, hey guys, there's no one near B. We've got complete lockdown of this side. Keep your eyes on mid and A. Well, caution a plenty. It doesn't matter. Devil just comes out on top, taking down Zipnix. But now on the other side of the map on A, it was definitely TSM's favor, but Crims is still standing. And my mind goes back to what he achieved last time when he was towards this side, picking up that beautiful one tap towards Carrigan. He might have to do that again. Well, Flusher did get taken down in apartments, but Olofmeister's replaced him there now, so he's starting to push up to get that little peek in Palace device. He's got to be aware of that. There's nobody really looking that way, and the second that smoke clears, he's going to be visible, trying to tuck himself in Sandwich. But Devil Walk and Crims now making the move. Pronax is going to drop into window as well. He's going to find Cajun B. Device is going to find one. They're going to walk straight in towards him. Pronax was taken down in window, so it's down to a two-on-two. Cajun B coming around. Carrigan's on the rotate all the way to CT site with the AWP. Olaf Meister not looking that direction just yet. Now he's setting up for it. Hoping that he can get a glimpse. Crims in Palace. Carrigan knows that he's there. He just can't get an angle. Now he does. Gets himself exactly what he needs. Cajun B strikes as well. And that will be a simple defuse. TSM starting to get a little momentum here. That's two rounds on the bounce. Can they take this all the way? Well, we're going to find out very soon. And that economy is not going to be wonderful now. Might be down to the, the tech. Um, or, you know, seeing what they bring out. Maybe just some P250s. And at the moment, it looks very clean. Actually, no, they're going to force into this one. They're going Galil's, a rifle. And Devil Walk, well, he does at least get an AK. No armor, though. So this is a really interesting purchase. Just wanting to get this one going. Just force their way through this. Uh, let's see if they can make something with these Galils. Looks a little different Ooh. this time, though. Pronex going fast up short there. You know, the double smoke actually working in his favor very well. Double flash pushes in, has control, and actually they they could do well on B if well they actually landed a shot. <laughs> and well, Dupree proving that he had the better of them there. Carrigan comes out as well, and now that is going to put Fnatic in a trouble some position because that's going to be 14-11, and Fnatic are going to be completely broke. TSM. Should be able to get themselves... Well, I mean, they don't need to get anything because they are in a great situation. Actually starting to build their bank up. And we can see Fnatic is going to go P250s. And this could take it to, what, 14-12? Fnatic should be able to buy up back after that. But what was looking like a, a simple game for Fnatic, just a mm. simple case of closing it out, suddenly become looking like a likelihood of becoming a, almost close to a draw for TSM here. Yeah, but I guess, uh, you, can you imagine how much they're missing the, I think just the, the presence of JW? Yeah. Would have been lovely right now. A couple of opening picks here and there, those kind of, you know, JW oh, magic well, moments. On. But they've got it to a 2v2. Crims can't get a gun, though, so this could be a problem. But Pronax has a molly and a gun. Oh, Zipnix lands the Kobe on towards Crims. Pronax will just gun down, and Cajun B will... Get in and clean things up. Zitnex clicks himself for the AWP and the defuse. And now it's 14-12. Here we go. Right, Fnatic back on the rifles. Let's see what they can do because, well, if they lose this one, they should be okay again. We'll see what they go with the buy. Okay, Olaf Meister. Ooh, okay, double AWP coming out. Crims choosing to go for it. Why not? You know, Crims has got 33 frags on the board. He's... By far and away, the top frag eight had a good spawn. We'll see where they're going to go with it. Pronex is going to be the man that peaks, but nobody in window for TSM. I, I just want to see how this round plays out. I want to be a viewer rather than a caster. This is pretty unique. Crims wanted to take that AWP. Carrigan's took the AWP short as well. He's also spotted out Zipnix, but Zipnix has been really solid in that spot. Don't know if I'd even want to try and challenge it. It looks like Fnatic. May want to just look towards A late on, but Carrigan moving up, finding Pronax is going to make that very hard work. Oh, so that's one man down. Crimson still peeking. Devil Walk 
Ross trying to get himself through underpass here. He's actually going to back up, going back towards Crims. Flusher, oh, look at Device. Device has got all the way around the back. Flusher's going to get completely caught out. Device is in T-spawn right now. Flusher completely unaware of this. Crims is actually picking up the bomb and heading towards him. Device manages to get the kill. He's going to run straight into him. Crims suddenly realizes it. Panic, turn around. But he's going to get himself scoped up. Device, though, doing the damage. And that is Crims down, AWP down, bomb down. And suddenly we find ourselves in a really weird situation. Zipnix gets around the back of... Devil Walk and Olaf Meister has it all to do. And this man can work wonders, but this one might be a little bit too much. Only with 25 seconds left, he's going to try and keep hold of the AWP, keep it in his hands. Cajun B looking to take it away from him, but not quite close enough, I don't think. But all in all, yeah, this is a topsy-turvy game. Fnatic should have had this a long time ago, but they've been struggling to make impact into these rounds. They're just not getting the openers they seem to do when they have the likes of JW so close by Carrigan. Oh. Goes for a cheeky little no scope. Oh, oh Olaf Meister, what an Can he do another? Beast. Oh, Just couldn't quite, but he lives, call. he lives. They're going to chase him down. Cajun B's got to get onto him, and he's going to get away with the AWP as well. Call him Harry Potter, the boy who lived. But still, 13-14. TSM are playing so solid at the moment. That's the point, right? They they just aren't letting them get openers. Fnatic are finding nothing easy. There's no way they can get into these sites. Five CT rounds running for TSM. So they built themselves up a bank, and that's what they've needed. Fnatic can buy in back into it, but it's just a Galil for Crims this time around. Went for that all. Remember, Olaf Meister, ooh, so close to peaking. Carrigan is there in window. He's going to see him, and he lands the shot. And that could well be a vital one. Device has pushed up close, deep. He's going to catch out Devil Walk. Pronax will get the revenge. They're going to push up, but that Molly is going to stow things down. Flush has jumped in on sight. Dupree realizes it, picks him off around the side, and now just Crims and Pronax remain over on the ramp. They try and peek. They get instantly flushed. Uh, flash straight out. And that grenade straight at the feet means that Pronax is the last man standing. And we are suddenly at a tied game. 14-14. What was looking like a game done and sealed by Fnatic has suddenly been drawn all the way back by TSM. Six rounds back to back to get themselves right back in it. And I hate to say that, but this is almost Fnatic just missing that JW presence, not having the opener, not having that big impact play. Even when they get the start, it's not you know enough they can just build straight off of. And now Fnatic's economy is really pretty poor. They've got a couple of Tech Nines in there, CZ, and they're trying to do what they can, but Carrigan feeling confident, going to peek out to mid. He does catch the toes of Flusher and it's enough, but he gets pushed swiftly by Pronax. And maybe they can just keep applying pressure, but Fnatic looks scrappy here. Device, though, took himself in dark. Are they going to check his position? They get Dupree down on site. There's Device. Guts managed to get one. 1v1. But it's not all. Zipnix in a 1v1. Oh, he's creeping through smoke. That grenade's going to pass by. But look, he's not looking. It's Zipnix that's going to catch the back of Crims. And now, TSM on match point. Not beaten by Fnatic on Mirage in 2015. He was looking like that might get broken. Crims at 34 kills. Just not able to take Fnatic over the finishing line here. And now TSM in the final round. Everybody's got rifles. Everybody has everything to play for. Remember, there is no draws in the SL ASEA Pro League. If it goes to overtime... <laughs> now, I was saying they need an opener. That's one and a half. Follow up by Olaf. They don't want me to go home anytime early right now. Pronax and Olaf picking up the kills. It's down to Zimnix and Cajun B. It looks like we're going to overtime. It looks like I'm getting no sleep tonight because Olaf has done wonderfully. And now that is Fnatic finally turning up. Wow. But how can you ever depend on someone like you know, Devil to just hit that shot in mid? Fantastic stuff. Yeah, just comes around the corner. Wazda, as it's uh, someone re sometimes referred to, just comes screaming around the corner. Fantastic stuff. Carrigan taking down. So six round back to back for TSM to drag themselves back there. For another last hurdle, they fall. 15-15, all square. We're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. There is no draws in the Pro League. So as soon as they are ready to go, we will be ready to go. Just means we need to get back into the game. So Fnatic, even with a substitute, pushing TSM all the way. You say that, right? But Fnatic on their T side wasn't fantastic. No. They really weren't. And they, they were missing the impact that JW has. They were missing what he brings to the plate. Luckily, in that final round, you know, Devil Walk hits a shot that you wouldn't really bank on him hitting. And then Olaf kind of finds his footing and it spirals, which is perfectly fine. It's, it's great when that happens. But it didn't happen. 
six rounds in a row beforehand, and they didn't get any executions working towards A. They struggled on towards B with Zipnix there. Fnatic, I don't think, are going to do too well in this overtime unless they get a very clean CT side. I'll we'll see. We'll get it underway in a moment. It's going to be uh, 10,000 start, I believe. Well, since we get in there, I actually think we've only had one more overtime in this so far, in the Pro League so far. Not, sure. not too sure myself. We are... They're not ready to go yet. I'm just, just looking at the pistols. So they, uh, they're not they're not live yet. But uh, what do we see? So you're, you're saying, basically... I mean, it's going to be TSM starting out as the CT side, I believe. Uh, because obviously that's where they ended on. And we've just seen, once they got going, they were starting to get very confident. And for now, we're finding it hard to break them down and get anything on the board. Apart from that, just random shot coming round into mid. Yeah, that's my thoughts. A little bit of luck. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing else to say. It's, I, I think Fnatic are very talented, correct. But once TSM understood what they were trying to do, once they just you know, stopped allowing them opening picks, they were playing very heavily on these sites. You know, Zipnix was the unmovable object on B. I think it's it was very difficult for Fnatic. If they were able to find these opening picks very quickly, then we might be fine. But I feel as though this might be just a step too far almost. I'm not sure. But I need to find something. A little bit of an extra gear here. So, overtime is on. Device finds the first kill. And that was actually getting up up close and personal. Very aggressive stuff. Olaf Meister, oh, he's caught. He's burning out. He's down to 29. That was a brilliant molly. Forcing him to back away there. Zipnix, I wonder if he realized just how close he was to taking him out and Olofmeister actually he thought about pushing through the smoke there but he is going to slow things down and back away looking towards Palace you can see Dupree there just below Crims was peeking Device with his back to him Dupree underneath so nobody expecting at the moment nobody looking Crims' direction because Devil Walk's been a distraction down in mid yeah, let's see there's still you know, so much time on the board. They're still looking for that follow-up here, and it's not going to happen. Device denies Crims. Pronax is almost impossible to get into the site. He's got the bomb right now. Devilwalk's done great. That's fantastic in mid. But he'd have to take down Device and then assume Pronax would check Dark, or Olaf Meister gets one pick onto B. But with 28 seconds, Pronax doesn't really have enough time to get back around there. Devilwalk's got to command this duel, and he won't. Device will... Be ready and waiting for him. Pronax pushes up to Tetris. Olaf Meister's making a fast sprint straight up. Connector. It's not going to work out. Zipnix is ready and waiting. He sees him. And he will gun him down. And actually, it turns out to be a fantastic round for TSM. Just losing the one-man Cajun B. Solid start for them on the CT side. What we expected. Yeah, more specifically, Device that round picking up four. Mm. Really big round for him. him. Um, stopping mid, stopping a ramp, and Palace. He was, you know, he became Zipnix of A. So, as I said, I want to see Fnatic find a way in. They they just seem to be trying the same thing and hoping that a couple of times it'll work out. Which I guess maybe that's just what they're waiting on for that little bit of a difference to kick in that they don't quite get with Devwalk in the mix. But still, early nade does find Pronax a little. Devwalk goes down. That's not a great start. Yeah, Carrigan. Good early scope from him. Crims trying to get something. Device actually backing out of Kitchen, forced away from there. Olaf Meister, you can see, was scoped up there. Flush is still probing over on A, and he does manage to find Cajun B. Backs away. That was in Palace. Olaf Meister, meanwhile, creeping his way up connector here. Constantly having to check his back because Zipnix is the man. Smoked off at the moment, hasn't pushed through. Olaf Meister could be vital in this one. The rest of his team taking a slow rotate all around T side. Olaf Meister, though, the completely obscure position compared to the rest of his team could be a big difference. Look at Device, so he's not looking this way, and Device will catch him out. Dupree on ramp, will catch one, go catch two. And Fnatic's attack is just cut down in its tracks. Flusher the Soul Man gets Carrigan down, but he has so much to do. They're still pretty low on health. Zipnix, the highest, and it's Zipnix that sees him. It's going to be the second round on the board in overtime. TSM, 17-15 up. Yeah, TSM comfy now. They, they they know they've done enough to feel okay. I think, sadly, I, I throw my mind back to the power that Carrigan had doing what Olaf did then, sneaking through window, getting around to the back of B and opening up. But just Olaf not having that same luck. Device is a little too quick on the uh, on the thought of that one. But now what can Fnatic do? They've been investing heavily, so Devil Walk and Olaf are a little bit skin here. And once again, back to the similar style, but with more presence on towards B. So if that could work out, Sadly, mid won't go so well. Carrigan's been on point other than that single 
Devil Walk running in the final round of normal time. Here we go, four-man stack, piling straight in towards Zipnik. That grenade on point, catching three members right behind him. Now completely fashed up. Zipnik's just slowing everything down. He knows he's got the cover of fire. Cajun B there with him. And that was just all too easy. Fish in a barrel. But throw our minds back to Zipnix and how he played whenever Fnatic actually did do these pushes on the T side towards B. He was always by the van and he, you can see him clearly noting the Fnatic then as soon as you put some, even a small amount in their way, a small blocking factor, they'll go straight to the window, overwhelm, go straight to site, ignore van, get the bomb down. He immediately adjusted, went around, and then actually challenged from just underneath the window, which is a super hard shot to hit for the T side. It makes it very awkward. So nicely done by individually what um, likes of Zipnix can do. But now we're going to see it from the other side of the coin. TSM only need one more round. So one out of three, they've got to do something here. They've been getting, I feel, a lot closer on some of their T rounds. And I think they'd be confident here. That's a bigger thing. Could Crims be a big factor? He works well on A site with Devil Walk. Early on, and that's where he's going once again. Olaf Meister heads his way into window. Carrigan's going to be the man that challenges. But the smoke immediately comes in. And that keeps Olaf Meister out of it. Flush is actually going to be the man that takes a little peek around on short. And we can see that grenades just dropping. And Dupree's going to creep up. There's two people waiting for him, but he manages to get one. It was Olaf Meister that was checking. But Crims replies. While that was happening, Flusher got Carrigan down on short as well. Cajun B with the bomb, still at the top of mid. Devices checking with Pronax. Oh, very close from Pronax, almost managing to take him down. Zipnix, though, he picks up a kill on Devil Walk. He's got himself in towards A side. That Molly is going to be on the top of Crimson's head. Doesn't matter. The bullet Zipnix finds him. And this could be this. the round. This could be it. Zimnix is playing out of his mind. He's already got two, and those two were massive as well. Opening up the site and then securing it. If he gets Pronax, this is such a big impact play. Not only his work on B. Nice smoke to block off Flusher. Oh. Takes the third. And already device ready for the rotate. He might have caught a glimpse. He did. That's TSM it. clinically shut it down in overtime. You've got to give credit where it's due. In those last